Hello, lovely people. I hope you all are taking good care of yourself and everyone around you because these waves uh, keep coming. The numbers go down, the numbers come up. So it has kind of become the way of life actually. And uh, I guess precaution is the key. So uh, I'm here once again with you talking about something which is closer to me, communication. Yes, communication inside, communication here and communication outside. So last time I spoke with you was on thinking deeper before you say anything and before you act. And then it was thinking different. That is taking a pause, just taking that wee bit of time before expressing yourself in terms of whatever that you are doing. So is it the typical programmed and stereotyped response to a situation or is it a thought out one? So that was what we were talking. Now we take it a little further. That is what I call just a small pinch theory. And what is that? Well, we are all seeing this huge uh, war of words. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, forget the war of words which we are seeing around us in media. And yet, it is everywhere. Whether it is your growing up in the school, when you responded to somebody's you know, cuss or a swear by another one and befitting one actually or else sometimes whether you took it lying back and in some cases you even went one step ahead and resorted to something which we term as violence. So whether it was there or then you know, going, growing up again, maybe starting out in college and we do see what happens when you get out of the house. Uh, we all have heard of road rage. Why does it happen? Just because uh, we thought that something which was doled out to us was not good enough and we actually ended up responding in even a better measure actually or a higher measure than what was doled out to us. So uh, just think about it. How far is it right? So could you do something more? Or if I may say a little less, just a pinch less? Yes, that is what I want to talk about today in Know the Happiness How with Vinko Chow. I'm your host, Wing Commander Satyendra Chauhan, aka Winko Chow, the resident lifestyle strategy coach from Bangalore, India, talking to you in my small little snippets. So all those who have been asking me as to how to better your responses, here is a very sure shot method. So whether it will work for you or not, depends entirely on us or you and me yet just imagine in your lives nothing goes wrong really or the heavens don't come down you know if there is something a pinch less I'm very fond of the famous uh, beverage in India that is tea and how it is brewed. Yet, if there is a pinch more, it could be in terms of tea leaves, it could be the milk tea that I take, it could be that milk or it could be that sugar. It actually ruins it. And if it is a pinch less, you could always add certain more things to it. But if it is already a pinch more, you just can't do anything about it. So that is what happens 
when you are consuming something from the kitchen or you making it so remember whether it is a salt a small bit of chili a small bit of pepper or a small bit of more spices as we indians love them yet sometimes a little more becomes non palatable so would you want that it's always better to think of a pinch less and like i said if it could be a pinch less you could always add you feel oh well, i i could better it in terms of you know doing certain things yet if it is already gone beyond you it may not be possible to retrieve so always think of doling out that pinch less of what you deliver so and how does it happen it happens here so it is a kind of concoction of thinking deeper thinking differently taking a pause and then delivering whatever that you want to deliver so to be on the safer side and when i say safer i necessarily do not mean that you should become or maybe uh, be presented or or come across as somewhere someone who is weak or timid or shy or not confident yet you may turn out to be little more humble little more caring little more respectful little more considerate little more compassionate more empathized so those are the things that this just a little pinch less will do to all that communication that you have with one another in terms of consuming certain thoughts in terms of processing them in terms of speaking about it like i keep saying something not worth saying is not worth thinking so if you can douse the fire before you deliver it before you ignite it or in your minds before it comes and gets converted into words into actions and then it could be war of words or you know i mean who knows it could lead to a war there we all know what is happening all across the world whether it is people so called you know normal people across the way of life or people who are at the helm of affairs you know handling certain very important positions at any places you could be a celebrity you could be a politician you could be a leader you could be the head of the state or head of an organization or a sports person or anyone for that matter that a pinch less theory will always hold you in good stead so now i like i said it is up to us to take that call uh, what we think is right should be done so till i see you again in my small little snippet very soon and believe me uh, these are certain learnings of my life uh, which i have practiced and i'm still learning i am a work in progress and i would certainly keep working yet i think of sharing them with you um, as i feel that uh, had i gotten this wisdom much earlier i would be better off and as i said maybe it would have held me in a good stead so till i see you again do keep uh, watching this space and please uh, subscribe if you like it do share it with people offer your comments and let me know if you would want me to explore certain more things uh, that may be of interest to you your friends and if it could help you to kind of lighten your moods and bring that smile 
or that sparkle on your face and that small little cheer, uh, my day would be made. So do let me know as to what do you think about these small snippets and I would certainly keep uh, sharing my learnings, my experiences, which over the period of time I have uh, not only learned, I have refined, I have practiced and I have lived and I have certainly derived much value and uh, thus I do share them with you. So once again, thank you very much for joining me. It is always a pleasure to be here and be of small little contribution and, and add value to your time. So before you go, don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, uh, yes, uh, do go to our landing page and subscribe for a pro bono coaching call on something which has been bothering you, something where you're seeking some resolve or something that uh, is very pressing and you would want to further it or in, if nothing else, just a small little growth because growth is what is important. If we're not growing, it is not only stagnant, it is much more than being stagnant. So do look out for all the links that are below and here on job. So you could hear this podcast on Apple Podcasts, on Google Podcasts, on Spotify, on Anchor and you could watch it in my YouTube channel. Know the happiness how with Waikut Chow. So see you, take care, stay happy, stay fit, stay healthy and keep smiling. Bye-bye.